Yeah, it's been a while since I've done one of these. Did you miss me? Today we're going to be talking about this guy. The Google Stadia controller. Now this guy actually got for free via trial through Google. Three months free and a free controller. And Google owes me some goodwill anyway, so why not? So let's get into the unboxing of this controller right now. So we got our Google Stadia delivery box here and we're just going to open it up. See what's inside. Just like Blue's Clues. Present time, present time. Open a present, see what's inside. That's pretty lame. The people who get that are gonna be in their 30s and 40s and very sad that they're remembering a kid's TV show with an animated dog. But that's Steve. He was a hottie. Steve Burns. All right, and then we got some packaging. And in classic Google fashion, I upside down opened it. And there it is. Google Stadia. Is that it's backwards for you? There we go. Google Stadia. So now let's go deeper. What you got includes the controller and Chromecast Ultra. And some other spec information there. So let's open this box and see what's going on further down. Just make a small slit here. Don't want to do too much damage to this fine white box. Okay. that out of there stop rattling okay looks like it's gonna open this way Plop. and there it is look at that very nice controller very white controller get some orange accents there that's kind of cool give it a little bit of color otherwise you'd just be looking at black and white here looks like a USB-C connection there and got two different triggers looks very similar to uh, game pads you see so that's why I'm gonna take this time now to try to set this up to Steam and see if it uh, if it connects in addition to playing it on Google Stadia of course I just wanted to See if it could be the controller that I need for some Steam games and uh, would be a great uh, addition to my gaming. Let's see what else is down below. We got a USB charger port that's, oh, it's kind of like it's kind of stuck in there. There you go. Got that out. And there is the further details on the Chromecast Ultra and the cables involved. This one looks like it has a modem or something. Maybe something modular plugs into there via this uh, Ethernet looking cable. Where? Here. There. There you go. I am going to pack this all up and get it set up to try to work on Steam, and I will show you that process right now. Hey yo, and welcome to this camera. Now we're gonna try setting this thing up to Steam as per directions I found online. So to start the process, we're gonna go to settings and general controller settings. And from here, we need to hook up the USB-C, which I have right here. Plug it into the back of the controller. Boom. Look at that, got a nice little orange light. Got the computer recognizing that a Stadia controller has been connected, so that's good. Oh, look at that, got a generic data pad detected, so let's click that. And let's, uh, what are the preferences we got? Controller name, so we're gonna call that Stadia controller. Rumble preference, we want that on, of course. We're, we're, we're the Rumble Pack generation, of course we want rumbling 
rumbling, tumbling in our tummy. I, I'll be surprised if it's that simple, but let's, uh, maybe let's try something. What, uh, what used a controller? Um, nothing that I recall, nothing that's probably still installed on the control, on the game. Um, what was one that was recommended for controller? Let's try What the Golf, actually. Not that it's necessarily made for the controller, but... Let's do a quick play. Uh, sure, we'll do a daily challenge. Oh dear. Is there... Uh, yeah. Oh, I see. It's like, do I have to challenge them, or what's happening? Oh, look at that. Look at that. It is actually... I see. I see. So it's like, um... No! I still made it. Look at that! Look at this! Okay, okay, hmm. Maybe I want to hit the shoe. Okay, that was dumb. That was very dumb. Hmm. It was the worst game of roulette ever. Oh, look at that! Well, this is a game changer, I have to say. Ah! This is a big game changer. I mean, I, I don't play awkwardly up here, but like this is a uh, this is crazy. Yeah, I love this, and the fact that it works so simply. I, I I didn't have to do anything really to get this set up. It was pretty much good to go, plug and play, you know, as it were. Finally, gonna just not so hard, not so hard, not so hard. Yeah, should have been harder than that. Oh, come on! All right, well, <laughs> that's enough annoying. What's the golf action? We'll come back to that at some point in the future. Before we get out of this mode, I did want to try to set this up to Stadia itself, uh, right out of the browser here. So let's click this controller. And then I believe we should just be able to type this code in and we should be good. Oh, use the Stadia mobile app to connect your controller to Wi-Fi and install the latest controller update. I see. So we are gonna need an app to connect it to Stadia, even though, oh, it says connected, though. Oh, I see, to connect a another something. Okay, but look, I, I'm actually using it right now. All it had to do was kind of be aware of my uh, presence, I suppose, and have me start using it from there. Um, nope, now it's, it seems disconnected because as soon as I changed the page or started using my um, mouse, or my, yeah, my mouse it stopped working. Hmm, that's interesting. Oh, it's weird that kind of weird that hitting the guide button brings up steam but uh i get it i get that i that i did that it's weird though what if i go back to the home page i can browse but as soon as i go to the store page i can't that seems odd uber firefighters well i don't want to play anything outside of my um outside of my game war session. And that's pretty much it. The Google Stadia controller is surprisingly easy to use. Pretty much plug and play in every setting that I tried it. But that's gonna do it for this video. And we're gonna play more Stadia games and more games on Steam with this controller in the coming days. So be sure to check those out. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. And if you wanna see more like it, definitely comment below and let me know. Until then, we'll catch you next time.